Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something really awesome to discuss in the world of jailbreaking as well as iOS. Now, for those of you who have yet to watch this video from Monday, right before Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, I highly recommend checking it out because it discusses MoSec. For those of you who don't know, MoSec stands for the Mobile Security Conference, and last year's MoSec was actually held by the Pangu Jailbreak team, and this year's will be once again as well. So just be sure to check out and watch through that video if you have yet to, it'll be in your card right now as well as down below because this video is really more of like part two. So what's happened now is pretty interesting. The description as well as the information found in the speakers section for the Pangu team has been updated and it reads as follows with the title of course being the lost land of chain of trust on iOS which of course will likely be the name of the talk given by Pangu's team founder. So for the introduction they say quote it's widely believed that iOS device Devices are equipped with the secure boot chain and mandatory code signing mechanisms to ensure that only trusted code can be executed on the devices. This talk will discuss an exceptional case, for example, no code signing protection in certain coprocessors at all. Specifically, this talk will present and demonstrate in details, I think they meant to say in detail, how we installed a manipulated firmware in an iOS device's camera coprocessor and thus gained arbitrary code execution in the camera. Along with this finding, this talk will also explore an underlying data sharing channel between applications, the kernel, and the user space and discuss how it could lead to severe compromises of a user's privacy and data integrity. For example, it could be leveraged by any container app to stealthily get the wallpaper of an iOS device or the last photo the user took. So this is some pretty interesting stuff and what stands out the most is this example right here. Specifically, this talk will present and demonstrate in detail how we installed a manipulated firmware in the iOS device's camera coprocessor and thus gained arbitrary code execution in the camera. Now currently I personally do not know whether this could lead to a jailbreak or whether this could be used in the chain of exploits to create a jailbreak. However, it does seem very, very powerful and at the very least we do expect Pangu to talk about jailbreaking during the conference, hopefully demo a possible iOS 9.3.x jailbreak utility and maybe this could be the foundation upon which their next jailbreak is built. Some pretty epic stuff and it kind of reminds me of the iOS 9.3.x. 0.x jailbreak that relied on an exploit inside of the Photos app. Remember where you had to grant Pangu permissions to actually jailbreak? Yeah, Pangu is definitely known for some pretty tricky and creative stuff when it comes to finding different exploits inside of iOS. So big thumbs up if you're excited for Mosec and if you hope something awesome comes of it. I'm going to be keeping you guys completely updated anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking. Click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And of course, I'll let you know if anything does come of Mosec. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.